we're going to get started today talking about the WinLink email service itself. I want to start off talking about something that we're all familiar with, and that is how email works. And this is the traditional style of email that we're all used to using on a daily basis. And we'll start off with, let's say you get a new job at some company and you get your badge the first day, you get your credentials. And usually the very first thing that you get is your email address. And your email address is usually in the format of your name, whoever you are at your company's email server, whatever that happens to be. I'm going to use an example here called planetyondo.com, but it's really any email service that you've, that you've ever used, Gmail or Hotmail or whatever's out there. Okay, so you've got your email credentials now. The next thing that you get started with is your email program. And your email program can be any number of things. It might be your Gmail program that you're logging in through the web. It might be mail or Outlook or whatever it happens to be. And they all work uh, pretty similar. So we're just going to walk through the kind of the, just the common components that we have here. The first is you have little, a little send and receive uh, email button. You usually click that when you first sign on and it just goes up and it checks your mail from the server. It brings it back down for you and it loads it into a place like your inbox where all of your messages are located. You'll oftentimes have a lot of other message, a, a lot of other mailboxes there. You'll have an outbox, a sent mail items and, and so forth. You may have some, some additional folders that you've created. When you go to create a new email, you usually click on that compose email button. It's usually somewhere up in the toolbar. It might be a name, might be an icon, something like that. And there is going to be a to field, a from, and a subject field that's, that's in there for you to be able to see. Okay, so you're going to click that create email button, and then you're going to fill out the information that's here. And when you do, the first thing that you'll notice is in the from field, that's your actual email address that you would that you would get. So it's going to come from you at your, your email server. Now we've typed in the to field. This is the who you're going to send the message to, the person at whatever location. And I know this is really small. It's sarah at stateu.org. Who it is, it's not really important. You're sending an email to some particular person. You would then give it a subject. Uh, in this case, maybe sales report, and then you would give it a message. Sales are up 15%. Yay, that's amazing. Okay, great. So you send the message by clicking the send button, and it goes over to your outbox. And this is where your email program just kind of like takes off on its own. It will then automatically take that message, and it's going to send it over via the internet to your company's email server. In this case, it's looking for at planetyondo.com, which is the mail server. It's going to take that, that mail server is then going to route the traffic up onto the internet. It's going to route that email automatically up, and it's going to look for that remote server, that at stateu.org or whoever it is that you're trying to send that message to. Once the message arrives inside of that remote email server, it's going to then deliver it to the user, in this case, Sarah at stateu.org. Once her machine gets that email, a little tiny message is going to be sent all the way back through the chain to let you know that the message was received. And this is the general path that we all send email through every single day with every message that you send. Explain. 